you the backtracking template to help you solve all the backtracking questions in the code by uh, going through the template and also going through a few questions to validate the template and I'm going to show you. So backtracking is super similar to Defer Search and the, the only difference is that you, um, you pop back up. So let's take a look at the template first. So basically you define a function, right? Backtracking and then um, let's say define backtracking function and then you pass the parameter and so for example, you pass two parameters, one is the node, the other one is the state. So at the beginning, you want to um, talk about the base case or rule out some edge cases. So if state is one of the solution, you want to append the state to the result because state is one of the result, and then you want to return always put the base case at the beginning and then you start through the iteration and for i in range something and then if i is one of the solution right you're gonna append the i to the state and then this is just one of the exploration and then you want to go through i's neighbor i plus one for example go through backtrack on i's neighbor and whether it's it's uh, one of the result or not one of the result. And then after you explore that, you want to backtrack it. Basically, backtrack is reverted. Like you want to remove the I to the previous state so that you can continue on to explore other result. And then that's the template that you can apply to all the backtracking functions. So let's take a look at some examples of the classic backtracking questions on LeetCode to help you to understand this template better. And if you look at this question 78 subsets, and I have a video going into all the details, so I won't go into details here, but basically they give you all the numbers one to three. It want you to print out all the subsets, basically an empty one and a one, two, three, one, two, one, three, two, three, one, two, three, right? In this case, you can take a look at the, the code here and it's backtrack on the index and the path. And the, the base case is I don't need to reach any length or anything. It's basically any result, however you manipulate it, uh, it's, it will be one of the result. So I simply just say, rest append path and uh, I do a copy of the path. The path is basically the subset, whatever I got here. And then I'm gonna go through the iteration, right? For I in range, the index and the, the length of uh, the nums, basically uh, this array and then state append I. I wanna make sure the path append one more number in the next iteration. Uh, append the, the, the I when I go through this loop. And then after I append this I, for example, I append one, right? And I wanna um, backtrack I plus one. So I wanna go through the next, uh, I run the backtracking, go back to the function to call the I plus one. And then I'm passing the same path. And then after the exploration, I wanna pop, pop the path pop from the, um, the nums I, whatever I have appended, I want to pop from it, pop back up so that I can explore the next um, possibility. And then I assign a result and a backtrack um, index starting from zero and a path with a empty array and then return the result, right? This is one of the subset. And if you look at uh, the subset two question, and it's essentially, it's the same thing. And the only difference between the subset one and subset two is that the subset two, it asks you, it, it gives you uh, main contain the duplicates. So this, you can remember that how do you handle the duplicate situation is that the code essentially is exactly the same other than you need to sort the array because when you sort the array, you can use a condition check, say, if this number that you try to backtrack, uh, run back, uh, iterate on is equals to its previous number. If it's equals to its previous number, I'm just going to continue and I'm not going to do anything about it. I 
doesn't uh does not equals to index is to make sure that um it still does are uh, on the encoder the first time, but second time it won't go through that again. And then, essentially, if you look at the backtrack, um, uh, template, it's the same thing. And after I the pass the two parameter index and path, and I wanna append the result because any type of the result is will be what we are looking for. You just simply append it, and then you go through the I in this range, and then. The first, you want to do a condition check, make sure that they are not duplicate, and then you append a, path, a nums i to the path, and then you backtrack on i plus one, and then pass the same parameter path, and then after that, you want to pop up, pop back up on the path, and then you call the same backtrack function, um, pass the index as zero and the path as a, a, a empty array, and then you return the result, right, and then. Another example is um, combination, uh, combination sum. So combination sum is basically it ask give you candidates a, uh, array and then it gives you a target as seven. It asks you to print all the possibilities how you get to the uh, target seven. So two plus two plus three equals seven and seven equals seven in this case, right? The only thing is that. You are you need to use the same number multiple times, like to use it twice, right? So you can see that this this question is actually the same thing. So what's the base condition when you try to terminate it? Is when you everything you pass two parameter, one is the index, one is the path. Path is basically the subset, right? When you calculate all the the sum of the path, so everything adds up together. If they are equals to target already, you already reach to what we are looking for. So you just need to append the result to the the path to the final result, right? If the path is bigger than the target or index is bigger uh than the entire length of the candidate array, just simply return. Don't need to do anything, and then. I want to go through the i in range index and length of candidates, and you can say essentially it's the same thing. State the append i. So I want to append the candidates i to the path, right? And then I want to backtrack it. Usually I will backtrack to the next number, but the, here is the thing: it the candidates it it want you to use the same number multiple times. So I have to continue to backtrack on the i instead of backtrack on the i plus one. I want to continue to run it. So he, that's why here is i, and then I get past the same path parameter, and then backtrack is you need to pop back up, and then I'm calling the backtrack function pass index as zero and the parameter as a、uh, path parameter as the array, and I want to return the result in the end. So the other question that we can take a look at is the combination sum two. So it's basically it wants you to add it to the target, but the only difference is that each number you don't allow to use multiple times for the same number, and the result cannot contain duplicates. Ex so we can take a look at it. How to avoid the duplicates is like the similar to the sub sub subset two question. Like when you have a duplicate, what you wanted to do is you basically wanted to sort the array first, and then you add a condition check to make sure the i does not equals to index and candidates i does not e uh. If the candidates i equals to the previous number, you want to continue. You don't want to backtrack on this number. If that makes sense, so you can see the it's passing the same、uh, template, and after parameter pass the path, and then I go through if the sum of the path already equal to the target already, I want to append the result and then roll out the edge cases, and then I want to go through the for loop, and then when I go through each i right, I don't I want to condition check it if. They're the same. They're duplicate number. I simply continue on it. I wouldn't、uh, do backtrack on it. Otherwise, I'm gonna path append candidates i. I'm gonna append one of the result and see if this is、uh, what we're looking for. I'm gonna backtrack on 
I plus one. So basically, I'm going to move on to the next number and the same path. And then after that, I'm going to pop back up and then calling the same backtrack function. And that's for the combination sum two. Uh, permutations and permutation is is different. I um, it's um, it's basically they give you a bunch of numbers and uh, one, two, three, right? And then it asks you to give out all the um, combination, different combination, different sequence, basically one, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, and uh, six different combination. And I, I, I set backtrack here, but it's kind of like using the um, defer search because this one is really um, similar to defer search and I didn't really backtrack it here, but you can see that I still wanted to do the uh, I passed two parameter, one is nums for the um, permutation, and then I want to pass the path, right? And if there there's nothing left in the nums because I try to slicing the nums into a uh, different part, and after I slice the nums, and if there's not no nums left, so that means I have sliced the entire uh, nums, then I basically got one type of combination. Then I can uh, append the, the path to the end result. That's the base condition. And then I want to go through the for loop and in the range of length of nums, right? This is how you do it. And you basically manipulate the nums uh, by going through um, the slicing them uh, via i and then nums i plus one. And by doing this and then uh, the path you can add on to um, nums i and I, I'm i not really backtracking here more like a defer search um, that's why I kind of do the path plus nums i but if you want to write a different way that's totally possible too and then this is the result and I backtrack it and then the permutation too is um, if you take a look at it, is um, the only uh, difference is that this array contains duplicates, uh, du uh, duplicates, and it want you to return still return all the possibilities. Um, but uh, that might contain duplicates, return all possible unique permutation permutations in any order. So. If you want to avoid the duplicates, then um, the a good way to do is um, resolve and then nums uh, you sort the numbers to avoid it, and everything else is essentially the same. You basically run defer search on slicing the i, and then you add on to this path, and that's the uh, permutation. And then another example we can take a look at is the n queens, so. It basically wanted to, you want to ask uh, to place all the queens, make sure that they don't attack each other. They don't attack each other is that they don't attack each other on the, so they can be on the same row, can be on the same column, and can be on the same uh, diagonal on the left, high, low, low, high diagonal. And then you can see that on each queen is in different row, different column, and even diagonal is different either. So that's the end result. And then you can see the backtracking um, template also applies. When you define a backtrack, I want to backtrack on the row. And if, because I backtrack on the row, right, if I reached uh, row four, that means I have already reached the end of the row, the last row. So at that time, I can just append the result to the um to the result append the uh, uh the, the the whatever we find on the res uh to the result and i'm going through the columns when i go through each column i want to make sure that they go through different visit set and then you can see this part is i add the colon add all the everything to the visit set and i change the uh, board to the queen right and after I do that, I want to backtrack on the next row, R plus one. And after I backtrack on the plus one, I want to backtrack it, basically revert all the changes. So you can see that 
this is the changes that I have made before the backtrack and this is the backtrack afterwards. So I revert all the changes back to its original state and that will be the main part of the backtracking function. And then I assign zero and I return the result. I hope this is helpful and I will see you. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video and I'll see you with more legal questions. All right, bye-bye.